So I'll start with one piece of paper. Mine is white on one side and blue on the other. So I'll flip it to the white so that I can do a fold corner to corner and reveal the colored part. From here, we'll do a second fold. Make sure the corners are lined up. And I like to use my nail. You can also use a ruler or a credit card um, to really score the edges. From here, there'll be an open um, side and then there'll be two folds. Have the open side face towards you and put your finger inside the first little pocket. From there you'll pull one corner over to a corner of the triangle and fold it into a square. Again, scoring with your nails, another hard surface. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So in that original triangle shape, I'm gonna stick my finger in. And this one I'll have to back fold so that there's a square right on top of that first one. There we go. Okay, so I'm angling it um, so that the open side is towards me and the folds are away. So the open side is towards me and I'm gonna fold the right corner over so that it lines up with this midline. Fold the left corner over so it lines up with that midline. And the more precise you make these first folds, the more precise your crane will turn out, but it'll still work even if your folds aren't perfect. So this creates kind of a kite shape, if you imagine that kite. Then we'll fold down the top right over it and score, and that creates sort of an ice cream cone shape. Now those two folds were um, guidance folds, so we're gonna open it and use the creases that we created for the next step. So again, with the open side facing towards me and the crease, or the folded side away from you, open up one side of that square and you're gonna open it all the way up to this tab here. So I like to put my finger there to keep make sure it stays down. As you open, you'll notice these flaps start to fold in. You can help them to fold flat. And there we go, so it opened. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm holding that tab down, opening and I'm helping the creases kind of fold in on themselves. You don't need to make any new creases in this fold. Just using the ones you did for guidance. There we go. Now you know if you did it right, if you have one side that has two little legs that are able to move, okay? So keeping that those two legs pointed towards you, the feet towards you, we're gonna do a move called the Slim Fast commercial. You know this before and after photos where it's like big and small. That's what we're doing. So this is the big, and we're folding over the leg for the small shot. So I'll show you in a second. It's hard to see with the fingers. I moved it all the way to the midline, just like we did for our previous guidance fold. Holding it flat. Again, taking both those little pieces of paper, pulling it all the way to the midline. There we go, folding flat. So that's our slim fast commercial one. So what happens when you lose a bunch of weight? You gotta take in your pants, right? So we've got a little fold here. We're gonna take that back fold and tuck it in right behind it. See that? You can do that on the same, the same thing on the other side. Take that one, tuck it behind. Okay. And then this front flap, we're gonna tuck it behind by reversing the fold. Okay. So both folds face inwards, just like you took, take in a seam for your pants. Okay, we'll reverse that one on the other side as well. And there we go. Got an inseam to our pants. Okay, so we've got two little legs. Remember the feet are tiny little points here. They're facing towards you. Next is the yoga move. So I'm gonna take one of the legs 
and fold it up. You can see this, it opens on itself. It's going up in the middle and I'm folding it inwards. And then I'm pressing it tightly to fold it flat, okay? Do the same thing on the other side, folding it, and I'm pulling as far as this seam will go because it hits that fold. Okay, folding in. Okay, and now we've got a sort of crown kind of shape. So from here, you get to choose which side is a head and which side is the tail. I like to choose kind of the thicker one for the head, but it's totally up to you. So I'm kind of, I'm gonna open this um, fold with my nail to make it straight. And then I'm gonna fold it down to a bend, and then I'm gonna fold it inside itself. Just kind of collapsing that fold and on itself for the tail. Next, we're gonna fold down the wings. I'm folding this down at the biggest point. So there's two corners. I'm gonna fold it down and down. And here you've got a crane, but we need to puff it up. So I take the two wings and I pull it just gently. You'll see this little box start to expand in the middle of it. I use my thumb to push it down. And that's it. We've got a beautiful crane to join our little flock. So let's do it again, slowly our next piece of paper um, and I think you'll catch on. So again, we're folding in half, folding in half again. Face the open side towards you, stick your finger in the first little pocket, pull it over to a square. Same thing on the other side, stick your finger in that pocket, back fold that guy. So open side towards you, folds away. Take the right side, fold to the midline. The left side, fold to the midline. You've got your kite next, that little tab, ice cream cone. All right, so open up those folds, those were our guidance. I'm gonna open up that first square all the way up to that tab. Help the folds close in on themselves. There we are. First open. Flip it over the next one up to that tab. There we are. Check. You have two little legs. Good. Slim fast commercial. Fold one leg in so that the feet become a point. Fold the next one in. Again, that folds all the way to the midline. All right, now we gotta take in our pants. <laughs> so we tuck that back fold behind. Fold behind. And then we double back that one. So it tucks behind as well. is the yoga. Pull one leg up, push it in between, and fold it back on itself. And this one wasn't as folded as precisely, so you can tell it already that it's a little bit less, um, less thin. It's a crane for less comes to a point. <laughs> that's okay, it'll still work. Okay, we've got both legs up, that's our crown shape. I'll take this um, thicker one, bend it down for the head, and then push it in so it folds in on itself. There's my head, folding the wings. There we go. And pull both wings to pop it up. Push that down with your thumb. There you go. You've got a crane. It'll take a couple bit uh, rounds to do this, but once you've done it a couple times, it'll totally come natural. Great job.